Welcome back to story time. Today, I'm gonna read you a book all about my little puppy, Ollie. It's called Lost in the Snow, written by Linda Jennings, illustrated by Allison Edson. Ollie peeped out of the barn door. Something cold and wet plopped on his nose. What's all this white stuff, Mom? He squeaked. Can we eat it? It's snow, Ollie. His mom laughed. It falls like rain in the winter. And no, you shouldn't eat it. Can we play in it then? He asked. Please, Mom, cried Sheba and Sam. Of course you can, said Mom. But don't go too far. Sam and Sheba skidded and slid across the icy farmyard. Wait for me, yelped Dolly, racing after them. When the puppies reached the field, they stopped and stared. There was snow everywhere. Let's play, cried Ollie. The puppies chased and dug and rolled under the flying snowflakes. Until suddenly... A strange face loomed up in front of them. A face with a huge mouth, huge eyes, and a huge bark. For a moment, the puppies froze with fear. Run! Sheba cried. The puppies rushed off through the flurrying snowflakes. Ollie's paws scrabbled and skidded as he ran and ran. Until at last, the dog's barks faded and everything was quiet and still. But where were Sheba and Sam? Where were the farmyard and barn? Oh no, whimpered Ollie. I'm lost. To it, to who are you? Hooted a voice high above him. Ollie looked up. Two big, round eyes stared down. I'm Ollie, and I've lost my family, and I don't know why you're way home. Ollie squeaked. Perhaps you should follow your footprints, suggested the owl. They'll lead you home again. But hurry, or they'll be covered in snow. Thank you so much, said Ollie. I'll do that. Tail wagging, he set off, but by the time he reached the middle of the field, the footprints were disappearing under the fresh snow. Soon, Ollie couldn't see them at all. He trudged on and on as the snow grew deeper. I must keep going, he panted. I must get back to my nice warm home and supper. At last, Ollie reached the edge of the woods. Were these the woods by his farm? If they were, then he was almost home. The snow had stopped falling, and evening sunlight shone through the trees. Crunch, crunch, Ollie crept through the icy leaves. But then, all at once, swoosh! Ollie slipped down an icy slope, tumbling over and over. Thump! From the shadow of the bushes, three fox cubs stared out at him. Look what the snow's blown in, said one. What a runt, said another. This is our home, said the third. Go away! But I don't know which way to go, cried Ollie. Sadly, he walked away. He would have to find his own way home. Ollie reached the edge of the woods, but he still couldn't see the farm. He tried to cheer himself up. He'd have so much to tell Sam and Sheeta when he got home. But the snow was falling again, thicker and faster. As he struggled on, Ollie began to think he would never see his family again.
cold, hungry, and very, very tired. Ollie crawled under a bush. A mouse scurried past his feet and disappeared into a small hole. I wish I could find somewhere safe and warm to sleep, too. Ollie sighed. But as he closed his eyes, he heard something. Ollie! Ollie! Where are you? Ollie peeked out from the bush. It was Mom! Mom! Sam! Sheba! I'm over here! And across the frozen field, Ollie raced to meet them. We've been looking for you for hours, cried Mom. Where have you been? I've had an adventure, said Ollie. But I'm so glad it's over now. So am I, said Mom, gently licking his frozen ears. Home at last, Ollie curled up with his brother and sister in their cozy bed. The puppies wanted to know all about Ollie's big adventure. Tell us more about that owl, cried Sheba. And the nasty fox cubs, squeaked Sam. But, warm and snug, its tummy full of dinner, Ollie fell fast asleep. The story would have to wait for another time. So, in this book, we learn two life lessons. One, never wander too far. And two, Mama always knows best. <laughs>